Ladies and gentlemen, this newer in-scale Thomas & Friends range from Bachman is very appealing, and today I thought we'd take a look at one of my favorite characters ever, who recently, I guess, he's kind of been out for a while now, was brought to the line, James the Red Engine. In overall, pretty good, but also lacking model? One I definitely have more to say about than I expected. So let's just jump into it, starting with the package. This is a packaging you can come to expect from the in-scale range. A clear plastic box with a nice background the engine sits behind, albeit normally covered by a catalog form, and of course the more boring info on the back. The sides let you know it's either James or a Thomas product. Opening this guy is also familiar. The top layer slides off, leaving us with another thin plastic layer that also is removed. Once that's out, the engine follows. Here's a better look at that catalog form if you were curious too. So, what do I have to say about this engine? Overall impressions, the good, the bad. You know, I think I'll start with the things I dislike the most. So, this guy suffers from the same thing InScale Thomas does, in the face. The, I can see you tried, but eh, you could have done harder vibe. I mean, it has a James-esque, but if I'm honest, I just do not look at that and think James. Secondly is another thing I'm sure a lot of other people don't like, and that is this circle you see here on the front under the smoke box. This is here to accommodate a screw that holds James to the chassis, and while being essential, I guess, is definitely a nuisance to those who care about accuracy. If it is something that irks you, it probably won't be an easy fix. There's also the inclusion of a lot of molded detail, like the whistle, the handrails, but that, I suppose, is to be expected with a model so small. If Tomix can do the whistle, though, you know what I'm saying? There are plenty of things I like, though, like the fact there is some separately fitted detail. The hooks, the buffers on the front, the brake pipe on the tender, the lamp irons, and even open windows, which still, to me, is pretty shocking. They haven't even done that on the 00 scale model. The cap area isn't huge, but if you wanted, figures could easily go in there, and maybe a back head as well. Plus, overall, the engine is pretty nice. The lining is applied very well. There sadly are a few iffy paint spots like on the tinder and smoke box on my model, but overall, it is nice. I don't really know how to word this last critique, but there's just something so toy-like about this James model. I know that's an argument you can make with most of Bachman's Thomas stuff, especially when comparing them to higher-end models, but this James just still feels off. I don't want to say cheap. It has good weight, good detail. We'll see how it runs shortly, but it also doesn't feel like a model either. Maybe the red is a little off, maybe it's the face, something with the proportions, a mix of all of that. I really don't know, it's hard to describe. But comment down below if you see what I mean, or maybe just think I'm crazy. Alright, now let's get into running and overall rating. Now, this little dude runs a lot better than I thought he would. Chassis-wise, you're dealing with a Bachman in scale Thomas, just with the added pilot wheel. And just like it, it runs phenomenally. He does also get some decent speed, but I don't recommend buying these for that alone, as you may be a bit disappointed. And I guess now with that out of the way, we can get into rating this thing. You know, I'd have to say a seven or maybe an eight if I'm being generous. It's an in-scale James, you get what you're paying for. But it's still just off, it's odd even. Maybe this can be cured with a new face. Maybe you're willing to fix the smaller issues so this is an actually accurate model. But all of that is something to be aware of if you maybe aren't and just want a decent, in-scale, accurate James model. I mean, you're getting that, but there's definitely some questionable discrepancies. There is also the argument that this thing is in-scale, so maybe none of that matters as much. Now, did you notice this thing doesn't have painted wheels? Probably, I just forgot to mention it. But even then, something like that's not a super huge deal, at least in my opinion. It's something to be aware of, but on a model this small, while it's moving, it's not the first thing you'll notice. I think that 7, or I guess 8, put a question mark at the end of the 8, is pretty fair. And this has been my review of the Bachman and Scale James. Alright, I'll shut up now so we can see this dude in action. Subscribe for more though!
Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.